Hey guys, Shawn Michael from Rethink Associates. This is video four in our Christmas Buyer's Guide series on subscription boxes. And this time we're covering Arcade Block. Arcade Block is by far my absolute favorite of the subscription boxes. Um, uh, we've covered the first three. It is a Nerd Block product. We covered the first two items that loot Nerd Block ships, which are Nerd Block and a Horror Block. And now we are at the Creme de la Creme, which is Arcade Block. Once again, as with all our uh, uh, Nerd Blocks products, the boxes are really, really cool. Uh, they're shaped and look like an original NES system all the way around. They did a fantastic job with the design. They even put the Konami code on the sticker, or I should say the tape that goes across the front of it. So to show you what comes in an Arcade Block, uh, the usual kitschy, you know, Instagram, hey, hashtag, Arcade block, please take photos and share so everybody sees the cool stuff you get. Um, this particular month came with a Link t-shirt, a Hero of Time Link t-shirt, which is absolutely awesome. And then this came with a Mario. Now, originally I thought this was Mario 3, but it turns out this is the new Super Mario Brothers U for the Wii U. Um, he looks like Super Mario 3 with his raccoon suit and his tail. So, really, really cool plush. One of my favorite items, uh, Tetris Ice Cube Tray. So you can make ice cubes shaped like Tetris shapes. This came with uh, Gears of War 3 uh, replica dog tags. Uh, interesting item. Portal, t uh, Portal 2 keychain cover. Key cover, I should say. You just slip your key through the slot in the top, and the head of your key goes inside here. It, it's just, it's Portal 2 themed. It looks like GLaDOS. Uh, it's kind of cool. Very simple, doesn't really do anything other than that. And then uh, Super Mario Backpack Buddy, uh, keychain clip, so that you can clip on your keychain or a bag that you've got. Uh, it's just a full poly, um, uh, poly toy, uh, little figurine, and they come in a variety of items. And then, of course, your, your typical monthly breakdown. And, uh, oh, and I forgot, I had already taken it out of this block, but I'll show you. It also came with a Laura Croft bust from Tomb Raider, the new uh, Tomb Raider for current and next-gen systems. Um, the bust is actually very cool, very highly detailed. Um, so I actually thought that was a pretty cool um, item for the box. So all that came in one box. So Arcade Block, it definitely does cater to video game fans, and they do a really good job of putting a lot of items uh, that appeal to gamers. I will say Arcade Block is far less hit or miss with their items. Oh, there's one other item that came in this box. I apologize. We took it apart beforehand. Melissa took it because she loved it. It's a Pac-Man motion pen. So it's not in here, but it's just one of those old school pens with water in it, and you tip it upside down, and the ghosts chase Pac. Um, when I was talking about the in the first three videos about subscription boxes, one of the things I talked about was how... Uh, the cool thing about subscription boxes is there's there's the element of surprise, not knowing what you're going to get, um, that works in, in favor of and can be a detriment for some blocks because a lot of times they may be a miss for that month. The things that come in it just may not appeal to you. Arcade blocks so far, I'll show you from the second block I got, is far less hit or miss. They're usually right on the money. Not everything's perfect, but it's still awesome enough that you want to keep it. And this month's arcade block... Uh, actually, the, this was August, this is September's, uh, so, excuse me, uh, September and October's, I haven't opened November's yet, um, hasn't arrived, but uh, in this one, uh, there was a Freeman's Crab Shack t-shirt, which I've taken out, uh, there's a Mario pullback racer from Mario Kart Wii, uh, a Street Fighter, <laughs> these are awesome, Pixel Bricks, this one happens to be Blanca, uh, it's just a a figurine that you can build from Legos. And then the portal keychain goes in here as well. This one's got uh, two Hyrule uh, notes from Hyrule. These are Legend of Zelda themed magnetic um, notepads. They come with a dry erase pen and uh, they stick to the fridge. You can take notes on them, leave notes on them. Um, so just kind of some cool stuff. This actually came uh, in the previous months. It's a Ninja Turtle Papercraft playset. Um, I tried to put this back together uh, in a hurry so not all the items are from this, but you can see it's a lot of geek-related geek cool gaming items. Um, all of them I found interesting and compelling. I didn't want to get rid of any of them. I wasn't compelled to go into a buy-sell trade group and see if I could 
auction off something that I didn't like for something else. So I actually am a big fan of Arcade Block. You can get it at nerdblock.com. Just go to the website, select your block, uh, which would be Arcade Block in this instance. Specify whether you're male or female so they can gear some of the items towards you. Um, and uh, colors. Uh, the, I will say this, uh, just to preface the statement I just made. Um, they offer men's and women's arcade blocks. Uh, that is because they offer some of the shirts in pink if you want to get them. Uh, pink and other colors. Uh, the items primarily are still the same. It just happens that when they do the t-shirts, they come in different sizes um, for women and different color. But they don't try to force gender on you with pink toys or anything like that. They just offer the option. So go to nerdblock.com, grab your subscription. Uh, $19.99 a month. It's actually worth every penny. Um, very fond of Arcade Block. Uh, so go ahead and like and comment, guys, and stay tuned. We have one more video in the subscription buy or the subscription box series, and it has actually a men's health product we'll be covering Harry's. So uh, stay tuned uh, for video number five. Thanks, guys.